little wills. If I went somewhere and Harley was there, I would never worry for a second. All right, so stop. You're not okay. Stop. Stop. Let me let me interject. Okay, because this is supposed to be about Gan in this part. Part one was. No, listen, please listen. So oh. we can go get in. Okay, the problem is here, you said until we have trust. The problem is we're not there yet, okay? We're, because a few minutes ago, oh, no, 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 listen, listen, I'm going to tell you why right now, okay? I've given, no, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why and then I'll let you talk, okay? Please listen, I'm going to tell you why. Because, okay, I've taken the blame for everything that I'm responsible for in this situation, Probably more than I should have, but I'll take the blame for all of it, okay? Quincy Brown's got the boy, okay? But the part that I still don't have trust about is when I brought up the fact that there was a puddle of blood in the house, you mentioned a head wound. You didn't even say a damn thing about that. Not a peep, Tisha. You blew right past it. So fill in the, fill in the blanks for me. What are you talking about a head wound? I never said to you about any kind of head wound. Now, see, this is where you... No, you did. You said in the, you said in the bicycle incident, which you later told me was not true, but you... I already told you I made that up because you would never believe anything I said. Okay, so how did the puddle, how did, how did the puddle of blood get there? Because it wasn't there before we moved in. So, okay, tell me about the puddle of blood in the corner. No, you said the wall. You said there was something on the wall. Who cares what it was? You cleaned it. I don't know anything about that other than what you said. You we cleaned everything from when Gannon... Okay. Yeah, and the... No, I'm... No, no, you didn't because we haven't talked about this. There was a puddle of blood the size of, like, one of those paper dinner platter plates. I mean, it was... I mean, it's significant. And that was on the concrete, which means it had to be significantly bigger and more thicker. More thicker, whatever. I can't hear you. Hello? I can't hear you. You're talking about something. I'm talking about something. No, it was not already there. Okay, that blood was not already there. How did the blood get there? Okay, it was a significant amount of blood. How did it get there in the corner of Gannon's room under his bed, which you told me the beds were pushed together? So how did the blood get there? Are you done yelling at me? I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling. How did the blood get there? You can, you can tell all your little police people that are listening. Did Quincy Brown bang Gannon's head up against the wall or something? Did he bust Gannon's head open? Did he hit him with a 2x4? What did Quincy do to Gannon? That caused, what did he do to Gannon that put blood on the floor? Because you are... See, I'm not stupid. I know you have police there. I know you have people there. You can, believe, you can believe whatever you want, obviously, because I've had so many freaking stories that you believed that were true to tell me, and then you always back off of them, okay? So, you can believe whatever the hell you want to believe. All I believe is what I saw. All I believe is what I saw, blood on the floor in my son's room, and my son is missing, okay? That's the two things I know. Gannon was hurt in my house. I don't know. How many times do I have to say this to you? I don't no. You don't know how he got hurt, okay? You asked me 15 times the same exact question, and I'm giving you the same exact answer, same exact answer. I don't know. Then you try to turn it, and you try to ask me another way, and then you try to turn it off, and you try to say something nice and sweet like you really care, and then you come back and ask me the same question again. And I've given you the same answer. If you're so concerned about... You, but you had no stop because you haven't you haven't given me the same answer. It's been a different story every time. Sure aren't your ass. You sure aren't your ass to go find him to see what he did to Gannon. You are too busy worrying about something that you think you can solve. I'm still waiting on the address. You were supposed to give me the address. You were supposed to give me the address from your lawyer's people. Me? Yes, because you, you said they had it. You know, now you're changing your story. You're changing your story. You called the police, not me. I wasn't there. I'll take the blame for not being there, for not protecting you. You called the police. Why did you call the police? I am. You call? Actually, no. I, stop right there. You called the police and told him he ran away. Not that Quincy Brown took him. What the fuck, Tisha? Answer that for me. You know, without a shadow of a doubt, Quincy Brown, and I believe you, Quincy Brown has my son, this motherfucker from somewhere up north of here, okay? 
But you called the police and said he ran away. Don't tell me you were freaking out. Okay, no. Don't give me some bullshit. Don't give me some bullshit story, Tisha. Tell me the goddamn truth right now. If you're not going to listen to my answer, then why are you talking? I'm listening. This is it. This is the this is the line in the sand. Quincy Brown got my son, and you told the police he ran away, and there's blood in his room. Guilty. Why would I call the police? I said Quincy Brown was guilty. I didn't say you. I said Quincy Brown. Why are you talking about yourself? Why did you say if you were guilty? You told me you weren't the whole time. Why did you say if you were guilty? You said Quincy Brown and I said Quincy Brown. You keep bringing it back to you, not me. There's No, I said there's blood in the room. Quincy Brown took him. You called the police and said he ran away. Explain all those things to me right now. Albert? What? Can you calm down? I'm going to answer your question. Oh, I'm, I'm calm. I'm as calm oh, as it can be. I'm calm as it can because be. I'm not stupid. Yeah. I'm not you're stupid either. You fucking lied to me and you fucking lied to the police. I'm not stupid either. So get, See, you better get right. I told the police when I got there what happened. Man, you told them he ran away and, they, and the whole neighborhood was looking for a runaway for days and days and days. You're lying. You are now lying, and, I, and I'm calling you out. You're lying. That is not true. That is not what happened. They, when they interviewed me, I told them exactly what happened. Well, that's not, okay, uh, I don't give a fuck what you said. You told me he was a runaway, so I called and called, and I cussed the lady out on the, on, on the recorded line, told her to get there for my, my runaway son. Okay, you never once told me Quincy Brown had the boy and there was blood in his room. So you better get it straight right now. When you stop yelling at me. When you start telling the truth. Tell the truth and I'll stop getting upset. You're lying. I told you the truth. You are lying, Tisha. You call me back. Go ahead and hang up. When you you call me back when you got the truth. You're fucking lying. Are you done yelling and cursing at me? I'm done. Go ahead. So. For a second. For a minute. I need you to just breathe. Because you're yelling at me. And I can't even answer a question when you're screaming. And every time I go to open my mouth, you're screaming and yelling at me. Every time there's a lie, I'm going to call you out. So let's go. Let's see. There's nothing for there to be a lie. Okay. I'm just going to warn you. I'm firing a warning shot right now. You lie, I'm going to tell you you lie. Go ahead. Look, I, I haven't even said that. You're still running your yap. All right. You're still running your yap. All right, I'm shutting my yap. Go ahead. Still running your yap. If there was blood in Gannon's room, that would have been already from when he cut his foot. I've already told you that, okay? I told you that his arm from him getting burned but bleeding soft and so was his foot. I've already told you that. Okay, you're lying. You're lying. Stop. That's a lie. Change it again because that's a lie. Here's the game we're going to play. Every time you lie, I'm going to call you out. You can't bleed that much from a burn. You can't bleed that much from a burn. You can't bleed that much from a cut on your foot from a 2 by 4 I'm not stupid. You're lying. Go ahead. Change it again. You're lying. You said a play side. A plate, a dinner plate that, okay, that's what seeped through, Tisha. That means there was a puddle of blood on the damn carpet to seep through the carpet, an inch of carpet pad, and onto the concrete pad where it looked like it had been sitting there for days, okay? All right, that's what I, that's what I saw, so tell the fucking truth. Maybe you should ask the people who were there living because I never was there and it contaminated the crime scene. Maybe you should ask them. Tisha, guess what? Guess what? Get your fucking asses on the contamination. All right, good. Who did that? Who, so, who did it? All right, nice. Guess what? Guess what? You just tell it on yourself now. You're worried about you. You're you're worried about a damn loophole. You're trying to find a loophole, okay? Oh, okay. There's another loophole. All right, there's another loophole. All right, there's three loophole. loopholes already. All right. It sounds funny to me that they left for Texas. 
When the child missing, maybe they contaminated. That's fine. Okay, fine. All right. So that's that's. that's like when I'm talking. Landon, Lena, Veronica, and me. That's four loopholes right there. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Quit lying. You it's just funny. you just told on hey between between me and you you just told on yourself because you just said I, they con they contaminated a crime scene is what you said. No, I said you. I said y'all contaminated me. Y'all put it in there then. Oh, uh, we put it in there. That, that do you? Okay. Do you? All right. So you see, here you go. Here you go with the spin game. Oh, you were all you. Hey, your brother did. You were on the cut foot and the burnt arm. Now it's a spin game. Okay. All right. Keep going with your spin. You know the answer, so I mean, since you know the fucking answer, I, I, I was supposed to ask you what the bullshit you said to me. Yeah, that's freaking, uh, it's freaking, I know what that's, the answer is. It's freaking Gannon's blood. It's Gannon's blood from a head injury. Now, how did he get a head injury? How did he get a head injury over there in the corner? I mean, you freaking told on yourself saying you pushed the beds together. You push the beds together. We've never pushed the beds together. You're lying. I must have done it. Cause, cause let me tell you something, Albert. If you went in somewhere where there was blood and you were allowed to walk in there, maybe you did it. Oh, maybe I did it, huh? Because he wasn't allowed anywhere to see this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You do it. Wait a minute. Because you just said you walked in somewhere to see it. Did you do it? Because you should, and if that was the case, what you're telling me is you shouldn't even have been allowed in there. Oh, 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 I was in Oklahoma. That's what I got to say. That's my loophole. Okay. You want to try to pin it on me? Go ahead. in there the other day. Yeah, I walked in there and saw it after. Hey, you told on yourself because you, hey. Then you, then you, maybe you put it in the because you know why? All right, all right. Let's, hey, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Okay. in there then. All right. Hey. You put the United States and you should have walked in supposed to time think. Listen, calm down. Did you walk out? I believe you walked in the room, huh? What do you think is going to happen? Well, hey, what do, you, what do you think is going to happen when they solve this crime? Okay, what do you think? You come up to walk in there too, huh? What do you huh? think? I, I don't know who I... Me and accuse me of When you said you went somewhere, so who the fuck done it? Did she do it? Just tell... Hey... That if this was a crime scene, y'all were fucking allowed to be in there. So, Tisha, okay. Tell me, tell me better than this. Since I know you're pretty smart. Tell me better than this. So you admitted to me that you were allowed to walk in the crime scene. No, I said I saw it. Don't twist my words. I saw it. I saw it. Who, who else went in there? Come I, okay. Well, you, hey, you, you want to know? Uh, you want to know who else walked in there? You, Gannon with a head injury, Quincy Brown, and a puddle of blood walked in there. That's who walked in there. So, what do you think is going to happen? What do you What do you think is going to happen when they find that boy and put all these pieces together? Okay. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? What you think you can say whatever you want you can say whatever you want okay maybe this was a freaking accident maybe we can fix it okay but the <laughs> but the truth but the truth don't the truth don't lie accuse me accuse me no, no. i didn't accuse you i accused quincy brown and and maybe there's a story a part of this that's an accident okay by the Some head injury to gannon jacob south i don't know about it or i didn't do it or, why is it an or? Why is it an or? Okay, you just, I mean, that, that that's why I don't trust you. Do it. No, you didn't say and. Say to you. you said or. You're going to do this to me. Listen, it, listen, all of this stuff doesn't matter because by the time I saw a puddle of blood on the floor, Gannon was already gone, okay? He was already walking sluggish to the truck, okay? And he's, he's God knows where he is if, he, if he's even alive. And that's what matters. Okay, what I'm just plug it to the truck. Yeah, absolutely, Please. absolutely. Please. I'm sure he was. Why did you? Anyways, to the truck, really? Why would he be walking? Why would he be walking sluggish to the truck? He never does that when he has a, a tummy. Some sluggish. tummy accident. What the hell 
can you determine sluggish for a video? The same way you can determine a shadow means somebody's getting out of a truck. Okay, the same bullshit. Okay. Any different than walking? You can you listen. You you claim you claim a shadow. You claim a shadow means Gannon got out the truck. We never saw him. We saw him. We saw him walk into the truck. We saw him walk into the truck. Five against Quincy Brown. And he okay. Okay, good. I was walking sluggish when I cut my finger. Gator was walking sluggish after he had a significant head wound with puddle of blood on the floor. I haven't seen Gator walk sluggish. Okay, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, he was walking sluggish because he was hurt and there was a puddle of blood on the floor and it's probably his blood. I haven't seen no freaking evidence, but I guarantee you it's his blood because it all adds up, Tisha. And he was walking sluggish because of that, just like I was walking sluggish when I cut my finger off. You hit the nail on the head, honey. Understand, like you're talking. See, this is what's not making any sense. You're trying to say that he got hurt, but yeah. I don't even know that he got hurt. Oh, I oh, I'm glad you caught yourself. Video. So you're saying he he got hurt Monday morning? I'm glad you caught yourself. Yep, I'm glad you caught yourself though. Hey, listen, let's stop, okay? Because this is going nowhere. We can we can fix this. No, I want Gannon. I don't want you in trouble. I, I, I'm blaming Quincy Brown, okay? I'm blaming freaking Quincy Brown. I want my son. You just fail to tell me how, how, how we were supposed to be back the way in our American dreams. And you started screaming no. in the middle of the world. Because of my son, it's my son's blood all over the freaking house, okay? My son's blood. If it was if it was Harley's blood, you'd be screaming too. You're screaming and it's not even your son. You saw this blood in this cannon. I'm assuming who else's blood would be on the floor. It... Okay, good. Yeah, you got me. I'm assuming. I'm making a serious, legitimate assumption, putting all the pieces together. That is my son's blood. Layla, hey, is, La is Lena cut up? Are you cut up? Is Harley cut up? No, Gan is the only one missing, and we don't know. So, yes, I'm assuming. Okay? I'm not cut up. I wasn't even there. I'm going to tell you this, Albert. You can tell me whatever you want to. We got, Now is the time when we fix this. Right now. Okay? Okay, and I'm telling you right now. Uh, you, you, you suck for 30 seconds and listen. All right. Yelling back at me. All right. Dennis Stelk was not sluggish other than if his stomach might have been hurt and his foot. There was nothing wrong with Dennis on Monday morning. He had his switch. He was playing his switch. And there was nothing wrong with him. Okay, fine. Maybe he was a little tired because the boys say the night. When his stomach hurting, which I messaged you about. Okay, fine. Maybe he was a little tired for that part of it, but you can't assume that someone's sluggish and hurt on Monday morning. That is not true, okay? Daniel was under my care and was fine. If he'd been sluggish and hurt getting in your truck, there would have been blood in your truck. Wait. You know what you tell people are all online talking about he was looking like he was drugged. Really? Cannon drugged. I mean, he only takes the, he takes his medicine. One, okay, his stomach was hurting. Okay, he had a lot of beer lacks in his system trying to lean him out. So you did get say so wait, wait, I, I wanna stop you because you said you didn't give him anything. Now you say you did give him something. This whole time, you didn't give me anything. No, you're a fucking liar. 